Hello. Today we're going to use Needlework Finisher. We want to show you one way that you can use Needlework Finisher to make an ornament. We're making a small puddle of Needlework Finisher on the plastic that we've used to protect our tabletop. And we're going to make this into an ornament. I'm going to put just a little bit on my finger. And we'll start out with daubing it just across the, the needlework. I'm doing it thin and it looks like it's going to cover up the stitching, but needlework finisher will dry clear and it won't yellow. All right, I've got the needlework finisher around my design. I'm going to peel it up just to separate it from the plastic, but I'm going to still lay it on the plastic to dry. And I'll wait until it's dry, probably tomorrow, and we'll do the next step. As you can see, our needlework finisher is dried. It's clear, so you can barely tell that it's there, but it is starting to leave the little plastic coating, which is what the needlework finisher is supposed to do. So we'll pick it up and we'll turn it over and we'll just add needlework finisher to the back today. Make another puddle of finisher and just apply it again with your finger. Okay, now I've got this all finished on the back. We're going to flip it over to let it dry, but also to smooth off any that went through to the front so that it dries smooth also. I wanted to show you this little piece that we left from our puddle of needlework finisher from yesterday. As you can see, it's starting to, to dry clear. Needlework finisher dries nice and flexible. At this point, you can cut out your ornament. You can put an additional coat on the front if you like, and you can also cut out some additional Ada fabric and put another coat and a backing on the back. This is how we decided to finish our ornament. We added a couple charms and a hanger, and we did put some linen on the back. How you finish your ornament, of course, is up to you. Just have fun and use your imagination.